nothing official yet with Brady to Tampa Bay, but it looks like it's done. Uh, they just haven't announced it yet. And he's joining a, a team that has a lot of offensive weapons, two really good wide receivers, a, a very good young tight end, uh, a very a good coach when it comes to dealing with established quarterbacks. Bruce Arians has dealt with so many of them. But I think that at the end of his Tampa Bay stay, he's going to look back on this and say this is a big mistake, Tom Brady, because he had something great in New England. And he's going out of his comfort zone, which is probably what he's looking to do. I know that. But this is a mistake for him. It's a mistake for him. And if New England pushed him out, I think it's going to be a mistake for them. But if you ask me what team's going to win more games this year, New England's going to win more games, not Tampa Bay. I think New England's going to go further in the playoffs, not Tampa Bay. And if all that happens, what exactly does Tom Brady have to hang his hat on? Oh, look, I got 4,000 yards and I... 35 touchdowns with those two great wide receivers. Okay, great, good. But he's never been a selfish guy. He's always been about team. And this is a move that I just can't figure out. And that's why I spoke about it yesterday in that way, too. I think he's going to look at this and say, nah, that, I made a mistake. I should have just stayed. And unless we ever get to the real bottom of it, none of it makes sense to me. I don't get it. Well, I don't understand why he would leave a good situation, a great situation. And now he's going to the unknown. He's got to learn new players, and here's what makes it even tougher. For anybody that's changing teams right now, like a Nick Foles, um, who was traded to the Bears, well, and, and, and Phillip Rivers going to Indianapolis, there might not be training camps. You might not ever be able to work with your people. They might start the season on time, but you're not going to have that time to work with people over and over, throw them footballs, get the timing down. You're going to start off really, really poorly. Mm. I think... You, th those that stay put, if Brady had stayed put in New England, a system that he knows, players that he knows, coaches that he knows, I think he'd be better off. He's going to look back on this, I really believe, and think that it was a mistake. I, I hope I'm proven wrong. Love to watch the guy play, but I think he's going to look back and say this was a big mistake. Well, well, you are putting all the eggs in your discussion into the Super Bowl basket. Like that's the only thing that he should be focused on, the only thing that would absolutely make him happy. And maybe there's other things that he's looking for. Um, the one thing I will disagree with, and I agreed with you yesterday, but upon further review, I kind of changed my mind on it. Yes, there could be a delay to training camps and getting a chance to work and understand the new system, but it's not like there's a lockout or strike where you're forbidden to do that. I would think by the time we get to when training camps can open that he could, he could talk to Bruce Arians. They can kind of go over things. Maybe he can you know, work out privately with Bruce on some things, because I think that's part of this. Arians is really important, because maybe Tom Brady looks at himself and says, all right, I'm a great quarterback, but at 43, I'm going to have to figure out a way to best utilize what I have here. And maybe he just has faith that, faith that Bruce Arians is going to get more out of him than what they had in New England. And because there are weapons, maybe he feels like, hey, if I go out there and throw 40 touchdown passes, yeah, we might finish 8-8. Eight and eight, but that's not necessarily my fault. Look, I was able to prove that with weapons, last year wasn't the down end of Tom Brady's career. It was the fact that he didn't have any weapons to throw the, uh, the ball to. But now with weapons, yeah, they may not win a championship, Michael, but if he puts up monster numbers, I don't think that makes him selfish. It just, hey, I want to be able to show people that I still have it. And well, I believe I can, I, can fer I can do better as Tom Brady under Bruce Arians with these weapons in Tampa than I can staying in New England. Also, the question is, what does Tampa look like if you remove 75 80% of the mistakes that Jameis Winston made last year? I mean, this is a team that offensively had games that they were absolutely insane, throwing for 500 yards, five touchdowns. They offensively were really explosive, but as we saw, he had a 30-touchdown, 30 30-interception 30 season. So, I don't know, Don. It feels like maybe there's a chance and, they are a pretty good and, team with Brady. Well, think about it. Honestly, and I think you would have to agree with this, Michael, that Tom Brady can look at what Jameis Winston did last year and say, well, I could throw more than 30 touchdown passes because I think I'm a better quarterback than he is with those weapons, and I'm not throwing 30 interceptions. So, he might look at that offense and say, if I'm on it, I can throw 40 touchdown passes and 15 interceptions, and they went 9-7. and seven. If I could do that? Then maybe we can go eleven and five, twelve and four, compete with the Saints and go to the playoffs. Well, and also you look around, look at look around at the division. 
Uh, Drew Brees is on the other side of it. Granted, he has Michael Thomas, and they're still a fierce team. But this, but after that, Carolina, no idea what they are. Atlanta, the second half of the season was much more like Atlanta than they were the first half. But over the last couple of years, they haven't been the team that the Patriots played in the Super Bowl. So you really look at it from a divisional standpoint, it might have been one of the best opportunities to go get a division. Do you believe that they're better than New Orleans? No, I don't believe they're better than New Orleans. However, if if it turned out to be the best version of it and Brady looked like Brady again, I believe they could be in the conversation with New Orleans. Now, you, you talk about the 30 interceptions with Jameis Winston, and, and that was a problem. They still finished 7-9. and nine. But he had a big arm. He could stretch the field. Now, Brady's quarterback rating for long passes last year was not as bad as you would think. It was in the high 90s. Not bad. But he doesn't have the arm that Jameis Winston has. So maybe you're taking away some of the stretchability of the of the field with Tom Brady. It's I, I think it's fascinating. It's going to be fascinating to watch. I'm sure that if there's a football season, that Tampa Bay is going to be on national television an awful lot. He's a ratings grabber. But I just think he's going to look back and go, that was a mistake. 